we live in a day of instant gratification of like, I want to lose weight and I ate really good all day. I ate salads all day and I didn't lose anything and I'm not skinny yet. I'm done. We live in a day where that's how people's minds work and rightfully so where we've basically made everything where it's instantaneous. But something like building a YouTube channel can be a slow process. And a lot of times people are like, how can I grow it faster? This whole like, you know, one subscriber a day thing, one view a day is not doing it for me, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. How to grow your YouTube channel faster. What's up, Buttercup? I am so glad that you're here. My name is Jessica Stansberry, and if you don't know me already, I help entrepreneurs create content that converts to sales, because what's the point if it's not? So that they can grow their business more passively. Don't we all wanna do that? And if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure you hit subscribe below, because I don't want you to miss any other tips that I release two times per week. Now I have a question. Have you ever like looked at somebody else's channel that's in like the same genre as you, or maybe you know the person or they have the same ideal client or something. And you've thought, man, they are growing so much faster than me. Like give me a, a crazy hand below in the comments, because I know we've all felt that way. And it makes us question our abilities and it makes us wonder like what secret sauce they have that we don't. Right. But what I'm here to tell you today is probably what they're doing to grow their channel faster than yours and how you can start incorporating it too. So, I mean, why am I just still sitting here jabbing? Give me a crazy hand in the comments to say, yeah, girl, yeah, I've done that. I have like been envious of the growth on other people's channels and I wanna hear what you have to say, okay? Okay, these are in no particular order, but they are very, very, very important, all of them. And I'm gonna give you three tips on how to grow this ish faster. The first tip is to be consistent and be dedicated. It's one thing to say, I wanna start a YouTube channel. I wanna start a business. I wanna start, you know, planting trees in the forest of Uganda. I want to start, you know, packing my kids lunch every day. I wanna start training dogs. It's one thing to say all these things, but if you're not committed and you're not consistent with working towards it, they won't happen. And the same goes with your channel. If you are consistent and you are committed to making it happen, it will grow. I guarantee that those people that you've been admiring and watching guarantee that they take it serious and that they're consistent. So if that's not something you're doing, that's definitely a reason you're not growing as fast as they are. And there's that. And just a little like quick little bonus tip that goes along with this consistency is is great and that's what we're striving for but the more you post content the more you will grow your channel so if you're posting once a week then you might try going to twice a week or three times a week or four or five um, so being consistent but also having heavy frequency is a pretty big deal on YouTube so another way to grow your channel really fast is to promote it everywhere like all the peoples in all the worlds should know that you have a YouTube channel and how to subscribe. Your email list, your Instagram following, your Facebook following, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your best friend, your you know first ex-boyfriend. <laughs> all of these people should know that you have a YouTube channel and how to subscribe to it. Because if, if there's like velocity going to the YouTube world and they're like, oh, a lot of people are subscribing to this, all at once or a lot of people are viewing all at once then your channel is going to grow the same thing with a per video strategy so every single time you release a video you should be driving as much traffic and promoting as much as you can to that one video because the more it's viewed in that first 24 hours the more YouTube is gonna see it as relevant and the more they are going to bump it up in their search rankings and your channel will grow because of that. All right, the third and final way to grow your channel fast is to hit some big untapped search terms. So this has worked for me a couple of times that I've just been like, whoa, 
<laughs> like that worked really well. And it's happened for a lot of people. They'll release a video and they don't realize how good it's gonna do and then it does like amazingly well and it grows their channel like a crazy person. Two times that has happened for me, one was about Trello. That was 100% intentional, like 112% intentional. I started on YouTube, everybody knew I loved Trello in my audience already, and I saw that there was a gap in the market on YouTube for how to use Trello. And I also saw that it wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. So I released a video on how to use Trello knowing that my competition was very small and that the likelihood that I could be found for that search term was pretty high. So I was able to hit those untapped but popular search terms. People were searching and nobody was releasing content for it. And I have held the number one spot on how to use Trello for well over a year now. So you can find these search terms that are really relevant to your audience, but just haven't been tapped into yet, but people are actually searching massively for and like utilize that. The other one that I've done is my iMovie tutorial where I teach you how to put text into iMovie without having to use iMovie's built-in titles. And with that one, that was just a frustration I had. Like I was like irritated. Finally was like, oh, this is how you do that. Like figured it out. It was like, duh, of course it is. And did the best I could to find how like somebody would search for that. But at the same time, nobody was searching for it at the time. And now all kinds of people search for it. And it is definitely by far my most popular video. And it came because I hit the perfect search term that was heavily searched or getting ready to be heavily searched, but nobody was releasing content for. And because my thumbnails are loud and bright, people are finding them and they're like, oh, well, this is so much different than all these other videos about Trello or iMovie. I'm gonna click this one. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. And this bonus tip is one that I hesitate to even say because of a few reasons, but I know it's true and I don't want to like skate or skirt over it. Jacqueline and I just had a conversation about which one it is, skirt or skate. But anyway, I don't want to skirt over it. I don't want to, um, you know, not say it. And it is a really good bonus tip. If you are trying to grow your channel faster, you need to have a magnetic personality. This does not mean you have to be crazy or like all oh, blah, 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 or it doesn't mean anything really. What it means is that your ideal client or customer resonates with you and they feel as if your personality is one they can watch and listen to on the regular. Because if your personality just isn't there, if you're not conveying your personality on camera, because that's a big thing. A lot of people are like, I don't have the personality for video. I hear that a lot. And I'm like, no, no, no. You standing here talking to me, this is an amazing personality. It's because you shut down in front of the camera. So if you're not conveying that personality across the camera and you don't have that personality in general or whatever, then that could be a reason that some channels are growing quicker than you are. Maybe they're just resonating with the audience more. And that is very teachable and very learnable and very fixable. That doesn't mean that like there's certain people who are going to succeed and certain people who are not. It's just that you have to figure out what kind of personality you need to be in front of the camera that is an accessory to what you already are. Don't change your personality, but kind of figure out who you need to be on camera to like complement your existing personality and also resonate with your audience. If you are looking to grow, there are four fun tips to help you. Three tips and a bonus tip actually, because I just thought of that one as I was going through this video. So if you're trying to grow, I get it. We all are. Everybody's trying to grow. 100,000 subscribers, 10 subscribers, 5 subscribers, 25,000, 42,000, 1 million. It doesn't matter. Everybody has a goal of growing. And if you are just not growing as fast as you think you should be, hopefully these tips will help you. And do not leave this channel without hitting subscribe because I would be sad and then you would be sad and we'd just all be sad together. So hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.